This is uh, the 6th of November, 1988. Richard Dearborn. What's it been like after 20 years, Richard? Uh, well, I've been in Hollywood for the past four and a half years. Film school for the first two years. Uh, production assistant work for about a year. Then I graduated to art department and became a schlepper and then became a set dresser and a set decorator. And also worked in various production offices doing production coordinating and extras coordinating. Like that, and now I started my own company six weeks ago called LA Filmworks. And we have a film in the making. Uh, my partner's a screenwriter, and he's going to direct, and I'm going to produce, and we're going to do an association with another company. And uh, we've been doing fundraising for the past months, and it's coming along. We're to the final stretch here. And uh, it's been actually quite exciting. But I'm doing what I want to do more than anything else right now. Can you say a little bit about what? Uh, centers you went to and what your experiences highlights and what you've learned. You went everywhere and What I did. <laughs> Next what part. I did my summer vacation. Well, we started off in 66 and we went to Mexico and uh, I don't think anybody knew what they were doing. We went to Africa and that's where everybody came alive. So we went to <laughs> Where was the center in Mexico? They didn't have Morelia. They had Puerto Vaca for a while. They took us to this village. To look at it one day. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Santa Maria. Okay, two villages. Yeah, and uh, we spent six really boring weeks there. And uh, I went to Acapulco, I remember that, with Kathy Grayson. And um, it was a mess. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> knew what they were doing, and I don't think anybody wanted to be there. Africa was. What happened in Africa? Well, the, the ones who didn't want to go on with the school left, and it was just the, the diehards we made, and we went to Africa, and then that's when the things started to gel. The first three classes were there together because the Europeans had come apart, so they shifted us from Europe to Africa real fast. And uh, we lived in the old Russian embassy, which was down the street from the Chinese embassy, so that was interesting for us, cultural exchange. And uh, I started my photography, my interest in photography started there. Uh, and I did a lot of photographic essays to get credit for the school. And that continued into India. And uh, we developed the dark from there. And uh, we tried to do a lot of extensive travel. Went to Nepal, went to Goa, did a study on the Christian in Goa, went to Kajaraha, did a study on the Kermatic temples. We went to Ceylon and got eaten alive by bugs and shares. <laughs> But for uh, what? In chairs, these straw chairs that harbor these little bugs, and you sit down in this straw chair and they pop up and bite your butt. That was fun. Mary Carey comes out real well. Were the hippies in Goa yet then? Uh, yeah, there were tons of hippies. They still are there. Yeah. They are still there. Through. We had a house on the beach for about two weeks. It was great. What was the island you went to before India? The Seychelles. Oh, the Seychelles. Yeah. The boat there. there was an RCA tracking station there. That was quite the same. Other than that. There was no way to get in and out of the island. And then I think our class split up. Uh, I went to Thailand, and I, my ticket went from Bangalore, Madras, Calcutta, Rangoon, Bangkok, Angkor Wat, Phnom Penh, Saigon, Hong Kong, Taipei, Tokyo, and Hiroshima. So that took three months to get from India to Japan. And uh, I had a great time in Cambodia. Got shot out by the Viet Cong. It was a lot of fun. Went to the ancient temple of Angkor Wat. <laughs> nobody was there. So we had the whole thing to ourselves except one or two isolated blue smokes. So I did a whole photographic essay on that. And you've probably seen, the, the, I think the next uh, administration cap was going to have a picture of the city sitting in front of the Angkor Wat temple again. I think it's going to be about four or five times. Cambodia um, yeah, was very exciting. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't got to stay there, but weeks went to Phnom Penh and there were guards in every street and walking in and out of any federal building had to be subjected to a search, pushing banks, things like that. Um, that was great. I did a wonderful photograph of San Diego was. That was the highlight of the education trip for me. Uh, I spent a month in Hong Kong and then when we got to Japan, well, I was burned out by then. Tired of it, and it was too crowded and too crazy, and there were just too many zombies everywhere. And the Japanese just didn't meet my expectations of what I thought it'd be. Considering.
demonstrating how how wonderful the Indians and the Thai and the Cambodians were. The Japanese and the from this line. It was just too crowded. And this is, anyway, it was time to leave. So I came back home and uh, eventually graduated. And then in 73, I was on the tail end of a mass exodus from New York to California. So it took about a year and it included a number of students. Well, Roger and uh, Kathy and Jeff and uh, David and Wake and Ellen Resnick and Nick Jewett and Dorothy Brewster and Kathy McEver and Tim West, Tim West, Owen Schultz, Owen Schultz, and the list of members. Jeff Walker, Jeff Walker, Carol Gill, Don Slott. He uh, did some real estate, um, decided to leave to change. Well, it was just time to leave. Had to reshift everything. I was on the road for about a year and then ended in Hollywood and things just blossomed since then. Everything kind of fell in the way, so I'm really blessed. I've been studying, of course, in Maryland for three and a half years. Just trying to change things around. I think that's why things have been pretty successful for me from my attitude about it. You can study what? Of course, in miracles, which is a self-study program in spiritual psychotherapy. So, uh, and I even like LA surprisingly. I never thought I would, but it's, uh, I can't see them in any other place. And uh, things are moving along. Are you going to talk to us when you're in your No. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get it all down. <laughs> 